Good morning. Um, today is the 23rd of December and I want to sew an apron dress for Christmas Eve. Normally I would have started a little bit earlier but I was super busy. Uh, at the weekends I sewed uh, Christmas presents for my family and friends and uh, during the week I uh, had a lot of work to do in my day job um, but I hope that I will make it in time I still have to develop the pattern I haven't done anything there yet and yeah let's see how far we will get so before I start uh, drawing my pattern onto paper I normally do a quick uh, pattern piece overview um, you see uh, the measurements of the pieces and I know it's totally messy but it's just for me to have an overview which pieces I need to draw on paper. So we will start with the front pieces of the apron. I will make them 4 cm wide and 25 centimeters long. If I'm drawing my own patterns, uh, I like to use checked paper uh, because it's a lot easier uh, to yeah, draw these measurements on checked paper instead of plain one. Two times in the fold, fold, and that's the don't know the word for it in English. In German, it's Fadenlauf. I have to search it later. And that's the side. If you want to create a rectangular um, apron, you can leave it like this, but I'd like to have a more triangular form, that's why I divide it in half. At the bottom uh, we will have 7 cm in each direction, so we will end up with um, 14 centimeters at the bottom for the apron. So, seven centimeters right here. Then we will connect the points. And that's our apron front. We had a um, hot shaped neckline that I will add up now. Uh, I will go down one centimeter here at the front. Then I just draw this line. And the other side we will do later when we cut out the apron front. Uh, I will uh, do the apron front two times because I'd like to add some lining at the inside to give it some stability. Now we will do the pocket and the waistband. For the pocket I will take 15 centimeters for the width and tw uh, 25 centimeters for the length. So we will measure 15 centimeters right here, 25 we already marked, we draw a rectangle, and, um, and I want to have 12 centimeters as pocket opening. 
12 centimeters as pocket opening. And then um, I will mark here uh, seven and a half centimeters. Okay, no, four centimeters. Yes, four centimeters here from the side. Um, da, 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 da. And I will round that corner up with my ruler. Da, da, da. Centimeters is maybe a bit too big. I will take three centimeters. I think it will be better if I take three centimeters up there and go to four. So that's for the pocket. I will round that corner here. Bottom. Now we are doing the straps and they are 34 centimeters in the length and 4 centimeters in the width. Uh, in total they will be um, 68 centimeters long but we will cut them in the fold. So, Four centimeters. My ruler isn't long enough, but that's no problem. Here is 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So, 34. What I love about check paper that you don't have to have a long enough ruler because these little rectangles, these little squares are one centimeter wide. The waistband is 38 centimeters in the um, length. It has also to be kept on the fold and uh, now we are going to draw the top cover but before that we are going to cut this stuff out here So the front piece is also 25 centimeters long and we will use this apron front to copy the form of the heart shape. <laughs> we will measure uh, 25 centimeters first and uh, divide it in half and um, put the apron front into the center.
I made it. I finished this dress at midnight. I didn't believe that I could design a dress and sew it in one day. Uh, but around 11 o'clock I was super worried that I messed up the whole dress because of my strap idea. Originally I planned to put the straps at the back, but this rectangle here at the front looked super strange alone. So I tried out different uh, design options and came up with the solution to put these straps at the front and close it with some snap fastness here. Now I'm super happy with the results. I hope you like it too. If so, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you would like a PDF pattern of this dress. Um, if you're new to my channel and aren't subscribed yet, uh, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would like to see other vintage inspired videos.